coach, it seemed like the effort was there. Uh, it seemed like a pretty close defensive contest. Was that what you saw from the bench? Yeah, I thought our guys played a real good game. Um, you know, for what we had, uh, the guys really stepped up and we got a lot of guys playing out of position, playing up the lineup, and I, I thought our guys did a really good job. And you know, basically we're playing. We played one guy with a flu tonight down the middle, and we only had one really true centerman. So I give our guys a lot of credit. We had a couple looks in the third period to make it to enough. I think Markson had a tip, and, and then we had a uh, you know uh, McClure had a great look there just on a toe drag. So, but uh, Chicago is a very good hockey club. So I thought our guys did a good job just kind of uh, hanging with them. As you're going through the third period and just trying to bear with them and defensively, it just seemed like everybody was given a lot of help to fill in front as well. well our guys did a good job. You know, we, we bent, we never broke. I thought, I, you know, we gave up, what, 21, 22 shots um, in the end, but, um, you know, they had a lot of zone time on us, but we didn't give a lot of interior presence, and uh, we got some sticks on pucks. And, but it's, it was one of those games we had to grind out, and, uh, you know, I think we expended a lot of energy tonight just trying to hang in with them, and I'll be interested to see how we do tomorrow night. Obviously, some of the bounces in the offensive zone. When you're going against a goalie who's seeming to make every save that you're throwing at him, what's the message to the guys throughout the constant game? Well, we got to get a little bit more presence to the net there. You know, I thought there was, um, you know, they got some lucky bounces at their end, and, and uh, you know, their goal, they got a lucky bounce. Hit Gavin right in the chin, split him wide open, and, you know, so he couldn't flex out on the guy. But we had a, we had a forward missing assignment there. He missed a positional uh, part of the game, and it ended up on the guy's tape. So that happens. It's uh but it's a big point for us sticking in the race. You know, everybody else that we're trying to battle against won tonight. So every game is going to mean something. And anytime you can get a point, you just got to uh, take it and move on to the next game. Your thoughts on DeRozier's game tonight? I thought Phil was outstanding. I thought he did a great job. Uh, I thought he played well. He made some big saves. Um, you know, obviously in the second period, they had a couple looks one on one with him and made a great save off Carr on the glove. And then they had, uh, I think it was McGinn down the left side with they ran a pick on our, our PKer. But I thought Phil gave us a chance to win the game and he was outstanding. Trying to take a positive out of this game going into tomorrow night's. What are you well, focusing yeah, on? Yeah, you, you know, we held up. We held one of the best teams in the league to 21 shots. A highly offensive team. You got, you know, tying in Carr, McKenzie. Like they got a pretty good group over there, and our guys did a good job of trying to uh, limit their chances and, and uh, play them tight. And uh, that's the way we have to play. We don't have the firepower to, to score four or five goals a game. Uh, we have to play the the one nothing, the two one games, and, and manage it the way we did.